The street's response to Iraq's prime minister-designate came fast, and it was loud and clear. Mohammed Alawi is rejected, protesters in Baghdad's Tahrir Square chanted on Saturday night. After two months of political deadlock, President Barham Saleh chose Mohammed Tawfiq Alawi to replace Adel Abdel Mahdi, who resigned two months ago amid widespread anti-government protests. Days prior to Alawi's appointment, we spoke to protesters in Tahrir, who saw him as another incarnation of a political system that has failed them. For sure he's rejected. Any person who has a relation with the parties from close or far, he's a reject from all the people in general, because for 16 years we haven't seen anything from them, just destruction. Indeed, Alawi is part and parcel of Iraq's post-2003 political establishment. A cousin of former Vice President and Prime Minister Ayat Alawi, he served as a member of Parliament and Communication Minister, but resigned in 2012 after he accused the government of sectarianism. Upon his appointment, Alawi addressed Iraqis in a late-night speech, pledging to address their demands. <laughs> I want to point towards the necessity for the peaceful protests to continue that support the reforms until they achieve their legitimate demands and the government starts their genuine reforms. Just like his predecessor, Alawi promised to create jobs and fight corruption, and he vowed to bring those responsible for the deaths of over 600 protesters to account. I confirm that we're going to investigate and bring those responsible for the violence against peaceful demonstrators to account. The Prime Minister-designate has 30 days to form a cabinet, which must be approved by a parliament that has been deeply divided over how to handle the latest crisis. Some factions have rejected Alawi's appointment, but influential Shiite cleric Muqtada Sadr threw his weight behind him. I don't think he has support from all the political blocs, but there are important political forces, and I expect that the Sadrists' movement will stand with him. And if that's the case, the other political blocs will do the same. For four months, protesters have asked for a complete overhaul of the political system and an independent head of state who isn't beholden to any domestic or foreign powers. Alawi's appointment doesn't fulfill either of these demands, but it could end months of deadlock and pave the way for early elections and gradual reform. Simona Foltin, Al Jazeera, Baghdad.